Previously, I found gold in Home Depot sand. So today, I picked up an entire yard of their sand to see how much gold we can find. I can't wait to see how much gold we find today. But for that to happen, we first need to swap this vehicle with a U-Haul so I can pick up the most sand I've ever got. This better be worth it. Good morning, Home Depot, my old friend. I've been here like 10 times, and every time I come here, I forget where the sand is. All right, so I need 64 of these bags of sand. It looks like there's only 30 something in here. I do see big pallets up top, but they have 48 in each one, so that's not enough still. I ended up asking for help and recruited Evan for the job. He was tasked to close down the aisle and bring down a pallet so I could stack 16 more bags on it before dropping it off in our truck. Now that's a lot of sand. I also grabbed a couple buckets because Andy said he needed some. Okay, just got to Andy's. I hope he's impressed. Hello, good sir. How's it going, man? How you Pretty doing? Pretty good. Long time, no chat. So I got a little more sand than last time. Hopefully you'll be super impressed. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what are you thinking? Last time we did one bag. This time we're doing 64, which is a whole yard. Is that, Holy. If that's okay, I mean, I'm already here. Right? I guess so, yeah. We're gonna have to get this down the driveway. Oh yeah. Now, if you've seen our last sand video, you'll notice we're not using Andy's cleanup sluice, but instead the mini wash plant because we'll be running considerably more sand today and this machine will process the sand much quicker. All right, so this is the little trommel we're using today. We're just gonna simply feed the sand right in here. It's gonna go through here under the sprinkler and then the fine particles and heavies like the gold are gonna get trapped below in the sluice box. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you got so many buckets, man? <laughs> I thought you needed them. I don't need them, no. So one by one, each bag was hand-carried to the bottom of the driveway. I did not think this through. But after just a handful of bags, Andy had an idea. This is definitely gonna make things easier. I knew there was a reason I brought a bucket. All right, so now that we have all the sand down here, finally, we're ready to run. Andy and I don't know how fast to run the sand just yet. So for the first couple buckets, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of testing. What I really like about this machine is you can run material far faster than if you were to look for gold using tweezers only. As long as we don't overfill the sluice, it's smooth going. I'm also glad I bought these buckets because it's making the pouring much easier. Mind you, maybe I didn't need that many, but nonetheless, I feel like it's going quicker because of it. I do stuff like that. Do you think there's gonna be gold in here? Uh, I think there's a really good chance, yeah, judging on what we got last time, I think that we're gonna be able to at least buy dinner or maybe even a small vacation for the two of us. <laughs> Could you actually imagine if there was like five ounces in here? We would start a Home Depot gold rush for sure. If we can hit like a gram of gold, I'll, I'll actually be very impressed. I'm not sure why, but looking for gold in sand is actually kind of fun. It makes me wonder where else you could find gold. So we've only done 17 bags so far, and obviously we still have, I don't know, I'm not doing the math, but we still have more to go. So other than dumping bags into buckets, dumping those buckets into the dump thing, and shoveling the dumpings for more dumping, Andy and I were almost ready for our first clean out. So we're almost halfway done running all the sand. I just really hope we're gonna find at least some gold. If there's as much gold as we found per bag in the last video that we shot, I imagine there'll be, well, 64 times that here, but it's not guaranteed. I noticed I cut my leg when I lifted one of those buckets because I was using my legs to lift it. I guess one of them didn't like me. 
Okay, so an hour and a half later, we are finally down to the last bucket, which means we're only halfway done the material. That's only halfway. Only halfway. I thought we'd be done like an hour ago, but it really took us like an hour and a half to get halfway done. So let's have a quick look at the sluice box. Now, if there's any gold in here, you're not gonna see it from here anyway. But uh, yeah, look, it doesn't look like anything's over full. You can still see some black sand in there, which means it is capturing the heavy material. So obviously I'm gonna let Andy clean this out because I've never used this before. Any nuggets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sluice and we're gonna clean it all into this to pan out later. Then we're gonna reset everything back up and then we'll run the remaining 32 bags of play sand. There's actually a chance we might see gold when we take this mat out and we rinse the white box into here. Right there, is that oh, one? yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there, baby. We are rich. Success. Oh, look at that big piece. Where? Right there, boom. Oh, man, more and more. Oh, my goodness. Look at that rock right there. Isn't that a beauty? Wow. So, obviously, this gold is very small, but it's still super exciting to know that you can find this in your local hardware store. I'm not saying all hardware stores will have gold in it. It really just depends where they got their sand from. But I'm pretty pleased to know that here, you can find gold in the sand. But is it enough for a steak dinner? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and more buried. Can you pick it up? It's a picker. <laughs> It's a picker! Oh my god! We're rich! That is thick. That's a thick one. So because I found a little bit of gold in the last few videos that I've done with Home Depot sand and other hardware store sands, I was 99% sure that we would see a little bit of gold, but also because I spent so much money in all the sand, I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't find anything. So I'm pretty happy that we are seeing some gold. Isn't that something? Oh my goodness. There's definitely gold in Home Depot sand. So our concentrated material from both runs will get washed into this bin to pan out later. And just like our first run, Andy makes sure that the sluice is absolutely spotless before running any new material. And we're ready to go. So right before we do our second run, I just wanted to say that if you find looking for gold as thrilling as I do, or, or you at least want to have a shot at tasting what it feels, smells like, I highly recommend you try and taste my new pater. It's called Pioneer Pater, and it's all about getting your own candy from home so you don't have to steal Home Depot sand or go to your local park and scare all the kids by taking their sand. Now you can get this pater, pan it anywhere you want, and then get that gold rush that we get when we find candy. <laughs> That's it. Round number two. Do you think our second run will look better than our first? Or do you think, uh, I don't know. Keep watching to find out. I told Andy that I was just gonna go to the bathroom. But I'm really just having a quick break up here on the roof of the shed. Slowly but surely, we were getting through all the sand and starting to get pretty tired. I was definitely getting sore from just standing in one position. So we are slowly getting through it all. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would take, but way quicker than if we were to use just cleanup sluice to run all this. We're still gonna use it to run the concentrated material, but yeah, I put on my hoodie because I just don't want to get burnt. The sun is cooking today. We are finally down to the last bag of sand. One thing's for sure, I'm never buying a bag of sand again. <sighs> we did it! That was hard work. Yeah, only one more yard to go. <laughs> There's a black sand river. That's kind of what you see when you're in Nome, Alaska or the west coast here. It could be gold in there. Hopefully not. Hopefully there's gold in here. <laughs> I stood back and got Andy to take everything apart and wash it all into the bin where all our concentrated material was. I guess on the first run, we never even saw what was in the mat. The gold that we did see was just what was up top here. Oh yeah, I can see some. More gold, baby. Big nugget. Here? Oh, I see. That's probably the biggest one that we've seen today so far. Do you think there's gonna be a, a gram in here? 
about a gram of gold. I really, really hope there is. That Me would too. Just be delightful. Gold always looks like way more when it's with the black sand, but I don't think it'll be a gram. I'll be really surprised if it is. If it's even a half gram, it's uh, that's a profitable venture. Oh yeah, we'll talk about profit at the end of the video. See how much, see how much I spent versus how much we're making here. So this is the concentrates we got from 64 bags of sand. <laughs> It's almost all black sand. And look at uh, what isn't in that bucket. We should return the sand back to Home Depot. This was also a time consuming part, but it was so much better than pouring sand all day. I got Andy to do most of it because I simply didn't want to. We found some gold on top of the spoon. It's a good sign that there could be gold around. And Andy just spotted a cute little garnet right on top of the spoon. Beautiful little garnet in there. Since this material is all the concentrated heavies, we were able to see most of the gold peek through. So it's been uh, 20 minutes or so. We're almost done scooping the concentrates. As you can see, we have a lovely line of gold in there. I'm really hoping that this will be the first time we get to weigh the gold that we ran through store sand because the last two times, it wasn't enough to weigh. Okay, the last little bit here. Sweet. Now we're just gonna let this run for a few minutes here and let it settle and hopefully we'll see. Well, I can actually already start to see a lot of gold in there. That is actually impressive. Wow. Again, I don't think there's gonna be a gram of gold in here, but that does not matter because we just found gold with Home Depot sand. That was a lot of work. Okay, let's dump all this into a gold pan and reveal how much gold we found. Moment of tooth. All those buckets, all that time and all that driving and money let down to this moment. You can start to see some gold showing through that black sand. So the black sand is actually pretty heavy as well. So that is why you sometimes see gold on the top of it. All right, how much gold did we find in uh, a yard of Home Depot sand? <laughs> look what, Whoa. look what's already starting to show up. That looks so good with the black sand, hey. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to clean up. That is so much gold. <laughs> wow, that is cool. You better weigh 10 grams or I quit. So I'm gonna separate everything else besides gold so that we just have gold left and then we'll, we'll have a closer look. Then we're gonna weigh it. So after an entire day sluicing one yard of Home Depot play sand, this is the gold we found. I'm just kidding, that's Andy's pen. My pen's over there. Now I've said this before, finding gold in store sand is quite impressive. The amount itself isn't impressive, but just to find gold in sand in general is impressive to me. This makes me wonder how much gold I've probably walked over at a playground or even at like a beach. We also have some pirate cubes in here and garnets, which I find really cool. Little gemstones. So under the microscope, each piece of gold has their own very unique look. Some are long, some have quartz in them, but more importantly, most of them are smooth, which tells me the sand is probably coming from near a river. I also had a look at the pyrite just to show those of you who don't know what it looks like up close. It's also known as fool's gold because it sort of looks like gold to the untrained eye. Now check out these garnets. These are fairly common to find, especially in this small size, but looking under the microscope, I'd say these are almost more cool to look at than gold. Now for the first time ever making a sand video, I can finally say, let's weigh it. So before we weigh this gold, I just want to announce what everything else costs it so we get a really good idea what the profit margin would be. So the buckets costed $222.66. Oh my. The sand, $874.50. And then the rental, $114.80. Now this doesn't include gas, food, and our time. So without further ado, let's weigh this and see what we made. <laughs> Moment of tooth. 10 ounces. Oh look, it's moving. $485,000 worth of gold. That's awesome, buddy. <gasps> oh wow. 
0.258 grams. So 25 bucks in gold. That's not that bad. It just goes to show that any one of you could go to your local hardware store and get gold yourself. Mind you, it's not that profitable, obviously. But what will give you more gold is Pioneer Pater because you're gonna get more gold in there and it does help the channel. So the only thing left for me to do is leave Andy with a mess. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.